Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so in this episode, I will demonstrate you how you can configure a social sign-on uh, using a Google account, right? So think about a scenario, right? I mean, user don't want to create a new, you know, new username and password. They don't want to remember a separate username and password. So you can enable a social sign-on for the user so they can use their Facebook account, LinkedIn account, or the Google account to log into the Salesforce. So that's one of the way you can give access to your, say, a customer, right? Um, so, or to your partners, you know, if you're, uh, you know, dealing with an external vendor who is a partner, right? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll use the Google uh, today to configure. I mean, you can use Facebook, you can use uh, LinkedIn, whichever you want, right? So the first thing first, right? You need to log into your network. Say, for instance, you are a Salesforce administrator. Um, so let's dive in, okay? Um, so I logged into my org, okay? So go to the setup. If you do not know how to go to setup, there's a Gaycog icon and click on setup, right? It will take you to setup, pretty straightforward. Um, under setup, right, type auth, authentication provider, auth provider, right? And this is where the magic happens, right? This is where you configure your uh, provider, okay? So you go to new. Um, and you see we have nice option here. You can configure using Apple, Facebook, GitHub, right? You can log in using GitHub, right? Um, we can use the Google, which we're going to use now, uh, Jan Rain, um, LinkedIn, right? Open ID if you are actually interfacing, say, using an old technology, say, with an SAP or uh, with an Oracle or whatever, right? and with the Twitter, right? So you can pretty much use a lot of social sign-on option to configure, uh, to log into Salesforce, okay? So we're gonna use the Google here, okay? I will say uh, Google um, Google SSO, right? So I will say Google single sign-on. Um, you don't have to worry about the consumer key, you don't have to worry about the consumer secret, we're not populating any of this information here, right? <clears throat> so, um, now, and what I'll do, I will do event registration. So, you know, uh, you can, um, uh, you know, create your own or you can choose this option automatically create. So uh, I will do that. Um, okay, and then execute registration as, so I will execute as myself, right? Um, icon URL, so it's good to have an icon, right? So we need to come back and tidy up this registration handler, right? Because we need to do a few changes here and I won't be writing a code. Instead, I will take you to a GitHub page because there's already code there, right? I don't want to reinvent the stuff, but I'll explain you what code does and you know, to give you a glimpse of what's happening behind the scene. Um, so choose a sample, so I'm after Google, so you can choose um, any of the stuff. I hope you don't choose Facebook for Google because that's kind of misleading, right? <laughs> it's like you choose Facebook and try to log in using Google account. That makes no sense, right? So I'll choose this Google Black just for the, you know, keep it simple. Um, close it and close this one out as well. Copy here, save it, right? Now I will see this is a auto-generated Apex class behind the scene registration handler. So let's open this one, right? And so it does a lot of blah, 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 blah stuff behind the scene, right? So it does, you know, update user, right? And it's create a user ID. I mean, you can keep it, you know, uh, very basic. That's fine if you wanted to do that. But, you know, obviously, you know, you need to, you know, customize it a little bit more. You know, this is not sufficient enough, right? For instance, right, you wanted to create it. So when you uh, do a single, uh, sorry, social sign, right? So it will trigger this handler behind the scene. And when it triggers the handler, it will look for, uh, it will get the credentials using your, you know, the Google uh, configuration. And it will look for your name, username, password, and if, if if for some reason if it can't find it, it will create the user, right? So to create the user, it needs to know 
uh, what kind of license it needs to assign to, right? So that's why the code needs to tidy up, right? So what I'll do, I'll copy this code, right? So this is like, I'll put the link in the description below. So if you wanted to try it by yourself, you can do that. Um, so this is a GitHub page, right? So I will, let's walk through the code, right? So before we get any further. So these are the, you know, the, so this is the way it will suffix your username. So this is for, say for instance, my name is Vikas. So it will say Vikas, uh, you know, at, you know, whatever, at, you know, dot SSO dot batch dot com org and the default account name, partners, partners, right? And see the profile, right? So this is where the profile is important. So if you, if you go here, right, you have no options. It doesn't talk of anything about the profile here. So that's why you, that they did this. I mean, you can tidy up the code if, if you're not happy with the, you know, I'm not bothered with this at this stage. And so this is uh, internal profile. And then it says, can create user. It just check, right? And it's just, uh, it's just a boolean condition right and so then you have if if it can't create if it can create it will that's what i was supposed to do right uh, uh, then uh, then there's a code which checks if it's a community right if you're using community then this code will, ex will execute it right so it's looking inside the you know the map to see if it contains a safe uh sftc network id i'm not using community so this part of the code won't be executed, but in your case, it might be different. You might be using community, so this part of the code might get executed, right? So, so this part of the code, once it's, it's like you're doing an if statement just to seeing that if your data or attribute map contains uh, this part of a uh, this key, right? And if it contains, then you're uh, getting a, um, a contact based on an email your data or email, right? And once you do that, and it does all kind of configurations. So in our case, we're just creating a contact data here, right? And so you're signing the contact here, and it just do a system debug. You can enable the logging if you wanted to see it. That's pretty cool. And it's looking for a profile, right? And assign the profile, right? So this is where you update the user if something gets changed, right? If you have a user, right? And if something gets changed, it gets updated using this method, right? Um, and then is create a contact, which is pretty simple, um, you know, code. And then it's to create a user, right? It's, it's pretty basic Apex code, nothing fancy here. So what I'll do, I will copy the code uh, from here and to, and make sure you have enough licenses, right? If you're running short of license, then it might fail. You might get, you know, you know, login error or something saying, you know, license limit exceed or something like that. So you have to pay attention to that. So if, and, you know, it's, it's such a simple step to do, right? It's, it's the most easiest thing you can do. You just delete it and just copy it and just go up and save it right that's pretty cool now one thing for this thing to work right you need to have custom domain right so what i'll do i'll just go to custom domain oh sorry not custom domain so yeah you need to have a you know custom domain like in my case i have because company right so i have enabled that my domain so so what i'll do i'll just go to domain I just you can type domain here and come to company setting my domain click here and look for authentication so you can go edit right and there's an option called google sso save okay now let me log off right and now you see we got this google sso here right so click here and I'll log in using my existing account, Google account. Right. See the license limit exceeded. Okay. So that's the problem here. All right. So what I'll do. Um, so. I'll log in using my. 
different account. So see, I demonstrated this, right? So you might encounter this problem, which is fine. So oh, come on. Let's look at the license, right? So I will probably change the the license information to something else. And um, so what do you do? I'll just go to user, right? And let's see, I create a new user, what license I got, right? And so I will do chatter, say, for instance, let me do the chatter free, okay? Um, so I got chatter external user and what license it is there. So I will do, so only profile I can actually use, right? What I'll do, so I don't want uh, one of this user. I will freeze this user because I don't want to use it. I just wanted to demonstrate, right? But please don't go and freeze existing user since I don't have the standard user license, right? So I have deactivated one of the existing users. So uh, in your real life scenario, you might have to deal with something similar. I mean, I mean, not to de freeze your user, remove it, but probably request for more license, right? So I've deactivated one of the user, okay? And what I'll do, uh, it's pretty straightforward now. So now I got a free license here, okay? So let me log out. And let's see if I can log in now. Okay, so duplicate username. The username already exists. Okay, that's interesting. All right, that's cool. That's that's not a problem. So what we do? So, so this is great because this is how you troubleshoot the stuff, right? So you will get this issue. So I just wanted to make sure that to demonstrate all the scenarios, right? So let's get to all, right? Let's fiddle with the code a bit. Um, just go to this. Now let's look for the username, right? So it complained for the username. So org suffix. That's the org suffix. All right. So what I'll do. Org suffix. Where is the org suffix getting used? All right, so we can also do one more thing. <clears throat> batch dot SSO dot batch dot uh, test dot new save. All right, let's see if it works. So what I did, you know, I complained about the uniqueness of the user. It seems like someone else have already used it, right? Which is pretty weird. Seems like someone else used my username, which is <laughs> which is interesting. But let's let's have a look now if it works. It should work now, right? So you see, it worked, right? So this is how you do a um, social sign on, right? So you will get issues, right? So that's the reason why I demonstrated the issue. The first issue, you need to have enough license, okay? So depending upon how you wanted to configure, right? So the code. You know, code is just a starting point, right? So you can, so in this case, they are creating a, um, uh, what's that called? Where is it? Standard user, right? So it's up to you if you wanted to create a standard user or wanted to create another user, right? So that's up to you how you wanted to configure the profile. 
Um, so, and so if you don't have enough license, right? I mean, I will not suggest you to go and deactivate the user. That's a stupid thing to do, right? I mean, I did it because it's just a developer or, you know, it just is, you know, I can fiddle with it, right? But if you are configuring in a real, you know, enterprise environment, then you need to, and probably you will working with an architect, right? So, you know, so you need to figure, factor those things into consideration, right? You know, what happened if the license, how many licenses you need, right? That's one of the things you need to consider that. Um, and what happens if the usernames get duplicated, right? So those things you have to work around. So I just made that, you know, data email plus, you know, that, you know, uh, appending that in you know, extra stuff like dot so dot test because it seems like someone else have already um, you know used my username probably I might have used it in some other org I don't recall it but that's all good so that's pretty much what I wanted to demonstrate in terms of you know social sign on so let me log off again right and to see if we can log in again with that same right so I'll just do log in. Right, you can log in again, right? No problem whatsoever. It's pretty simple, right? So, you know, you can relog, you know, it won't create another user, right? Because it's, you already have a user created. So, yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, right? So, thank you so much for watching. You have a great weekend. Adios.